Hello and welcome back to Atlas. Back in with a continuation for the lore. Today we will be focusing on the primary auto rifles. Origin story. Your inciting incident is their tragic ending. Ghost Primus. The Ghost Primus was strong because of his disfigurement not in spite of it. He alone had the vision to share my dream of a new, perfect world. Gaul was a creature of singular beauty, and I loved him. Gaul was an unexpected gift to my Coliseum, a disfigured albino from the outer wastes who defeated opponents three times his weight. How could I resist such a unique creature? He fought with terrible discipline and patience. Most gladiators wanted to stand in the center of the arena and trade blows until the weaker one died. Not Gaul. He never attack attacked from the front. Never stood in one place. Frustrated and exhausted, his opponent would make a mistake. I used to play a game with those puffed up aristocrats that would gamble at my arena. I bet on Gaul, and anyone who had displeased me had to bet against him. It was fun for a time but his talent was too valuable to risk in this Colosseum. I appointed him Primus of the Red Legion and instead set him loose upon my enemies. The Last Breath All Things End Emissary of the Nine The Doubt do not fear your doubts, fight your doubts. Honor them as you would honor your enemies. Lakshmi, too. Braytek Winterwolf. The leader of the pack endures through the hard the leader of the pack endures through the harshest conditions. HFU test report. Winterwolf APD. CL 2.33.472116 Modifications from CL 2.33.390160 shows significant improvements to heat dispersion along weapon barrel, thermal strain reduced by 17% with negligible impact to weapon effectiveness. RSPTN hash One warnings, potential unauthorized tampering of Hephaestus test unit 69N 205E. Test results not compromised. Tiger Spite. What else can we do but take up arms? Corsair. Amrita Ve. Kazia watches as Amrita tears through their little cobbled together home. She's ripping it apart, trying to put it into a backpack. Hurry, she's saying. It's finally happening. Kazia watches, but all she sees are the walls they built with their own hands. The tiny garden they coaxed out of the parched earth, the mountains on the horizon so unlike any in the reef. The salvation they transform from left behind scraps into beloved possessions. She watches, but all she thinks of is the before and the after. She's starting to realize that she stopped longing for the before years ago. It's clear now that Amrita has been dreaming of it every day. When Kazia speaks, it takes all her courage. What about our life here? Amrita reels. What life? She says, thoughtless. This isn't a life, Kazia. This is waiting, hiding. This is purgatory. The queen's alive. Petra needs us. We have to fight. Of those who go and those who stay, Amrita goes and Kazia stays alone. Horror story. It never starts out scary. Oh, perfect. Builds, 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 builds the past. False promises, gripped in the hands of the desperate many. The spider eyes the drifter, boots to bandana, 
Hmm, my favorite. Spider trails off with a drag of ether to select a title befitting the Drifter. Nothing. You think this will take? The Drifter says and nods skyward, kicking an empty ether canister off the side of their floating motive reef. Red streaks burn in the star sea sky beyond the vast cloud of asteroids and dust, drawing the shape of a new constellation as the war mind launches fresh guns. An almighty effort, splendid. Spider steps off a transit craft alone. You could have met in a more protected place. You don't like being seen with me? Spider is a friend to all, but not all my friends are friends. Spider says and focuses his gaze on the drifter. You should have come to me. You keep too many bodies around. Bodies can stab you in the back. Running shows your back. The spider's voice shudders to everyone. Drifter pauses a moment and looks around at the desolate scape. Small boulders hang in space. They slowly drift towards each other, make contact, and bounce away on random trajectories. Some stick, incorporated via destructive cons consonation. He scowls and turns back to Spider. Stretch your legs. No one here for miles. Spider unfurls himself, slurping a heavy vacuumous drag from his rebreather. Fully upright, he dwarfs the drifter in shadow. Isolation is not the same as protection, my friend. Friendship's gonna save us from what's coming? Drifter asks. He places his fingertips together, the space between his hands resembling a triangle. The odds aren't in your favor, but... A guttural laugh ripples from Spider's belly and sends vibration through the loose, packed dirt underfoot. I'm the wrong one to come to for comfort. I get it. You tried running last time. Didn't work. Now you're trying to hide. Let me give you some advice. That don't work either. Hiding? The spider asks and waits. The board changes. The board clears. I don't play. I just price the pieces. Cold-blooded. World's ending you want to run at it for all it's got. End is a matter of perspective. Devastation is oftentimes, he says with the breast. Profitable. What if nothing's left? Skin and bones? There's always ivory among the bones. Bowl. Spider slings a single breathly. Ha. You remind me of my compatriots. Spider wraps his fingers around a small clod of earth drifting by. They looked at the whirlwind just like you. Scared. He closes his hand, crushing the clod into a dense mound. It fractures into several pieces that waft away as Spider releases his grip. But here we are, living on anyway. Yeah. Fallen. Fallen. I hold favor among witches and kells and whispering agents of every shape of every shade and shape, my web is vast, and I have proven useful. Let the kings bloody each other. I'll direct the runoff. You talking about guardians? Hate to break it to you, but they're a cheap date. Cheap is malleable. Cheap becomes cheaper in desperation. Yeah. Drifter pulls a small and ornate box of a Wilkin design from his run uh, rucksack. What are you looking for with this anyway? Spider steps toward Drifter, smothering his personal space. Options, my dear rogue. Tangled in the web. He takes the box with his dorm uh, dominant arms and plops two stuffed sacks of ghost shells into the Drifter's hands with his others. Went through hell to get that little box. Don't come with no throne, Drifter says, holding his voice steady. Jaw tense to stay the trembling. Spider chitters as a shiver runs through him. No, just a looking glass window. Good business, friend. The hulking fallen dawn turns to leave. Remember, remain useful. When you find him, you sure the past won't come knocking? No one minds the spider. Lucky. Yangshi AR4. Can't outrun the dead. Uriel's gift. Take weapon in hand and fly to victory.
the number. Ah, uh, but which number? Why it and no other? Lakshmi too. Medley 45. Siros invites you to serve up your greatest hits. Kabuo, AR3. It springs eternal. The ringing nail. Strike while the iron's hot. Age-old bond. Symbiosis, not predation. Never predation, a oh wary one mine. The driving bass line of a classic song from old earth drove their prey before them. No less than a half dozen wyverns snarled and clawed at the trio as they stabbed and blasted their way through the wilds of Mars. Pradith wished hard, wished it would never end. Alongside him, Kaber was a towering giant, an awoken made weapon roared in his hand and his head. Bahanan was a force, a living embodiment of the void, where he pointed, Ahamkara died. In the middle between them, Praetith smiled, a winged and scaled lion with a boar's tusks leapt at him, and he could swear he saw the thing wink at him as he tore it apart. Beneath the song, Praetith heard static, like a calm signal. Best not to think about it, Praetith wished again, and the hunt went on. Reckless Oracle Knowing how it ends isn't the same as wanting it to be over. Rikana, Warlock of the Kentark Three. The Summoner Join the dance of fire and birth. She awaited signal lock, hands loosely bent around flight, flight sticks, sun to her back. Tristan's sight sank into stupor and stretched far across the outshine lights of distant possibilities. Flanking starlight pushed her jump ship's shadow outward into space. It was what it was and nothing more. Mercury hung beneath, buried in a storm of solar wind like a dark pit enveloped by ripe flesh. She hadn't returned in years. Previous iterations of trials and constant exposure to the crucible had sated her curiosities of quietus. None of that mattered anymore. Not after the moon. It was over. Finality was coming. Treston's return was a pretense for preparation. A living funeral to find conclusion on one's own terms. She had begun to see the sense concealed in wanton dissociation, the seriousness underneath the dressings of the menagerie. The truth in the word ringing through its halls, it was over. Time to make peace. Saint-14 is going to be watching us. No pressure. Dodge twisted a faded purple ribbon through the plates of his gauntlet and flexed his fingers. No pressure at all, Tristan mouthed the words, barely producing a sound before Yara's voice cut into the chatter. Look alive, team. We are the thin line drawn before the darkness. We are guardians. No holding back. Thin. A line to be swallowed in scope. No holding back. Burning shrine. Lock. Transmat firing. Cuboid ARU. What is the shape of reality? Yellow jacket. 3 AU. Beware my sting. Sand Wasp 3 AU. Watch as I destroy you. Sidonia AR1. A modded version of the Dido Sidonia, a guardian standby. Pariah. 
Hawthorne forged this weapon out of scraps and salvage during her years alone in the wilds. Halfdan D. Your name will ring out, your deeds will resound forever. The Forward Path, forged in honor of Waylorin and roads yet traveled. Duty Bound, do respect, Commander. I was there when the Hive found us on Earth. I was there when we stopped them on Titan, and I'll be there when we wipe them out. Sloan. Taiko 3 was smirking again. Sloan liked a lot of things about her. The smirk wasn't one of them. Sure. A weird Hive ritual. Nothing we haven't seen before, right? Sloan gripped the railing. Everything under those waves is something we haven't seen before. The hunter behind Taiko rolled his eyes. The railing crutched under Sloane's hand. You worry too much, boss. We've dropped a thousand hive with our sparrows. When the three of us, the hunter flourished a blade, and the other warlord cocked a shotgun. Did they practice this? Are we are working together? We're unstoppable. Sloane walked forward and put her hands on Taiko's shoulders. The smirk disappeared. The hunter's blade dropped, but he caught it out of the air. Taiko. They're not always going to have your back. What are you going to do when you're the last one standing? The smirk came back. Easy. Embrace the Praxic Fire. Loquitter 4. The rifle speaks for itself. Half Dan D. Your name will ring out, your deeds will resound forever. Hazard of the cast. Nothing for it once you, you place your life upon the die, the drifter. Galran's right hand, a reef-born auto-rifle rewritten with high voices to defend Galran the failed, now yours, Emperor Callus. Seventh Seraph Carbine, the old workhorse still with many years to give. Martyrs make. Remember those who have gone before. Perseverance. It was a long time coming, but it wasn't the wait. It was the journey. Alcaden, in dark water, my fangs are bared. Restoration 8. We need proper tools if we are to rebuild. Executor Hideo. No Calamity 9. A sacred eye that speaks and lies, upending futures in its path. The way before us to the sky shall see itself in ancient wrath. I misplaced Osiris again, Sajira told the goblin. The goblin, being a goblin, shot at her. She dodged with a sigh and continued through the forest. If I was Osiris, where would I go to celebrate Panapetsi's? 
becoming scrap metal. The answer, when Sanjir finally tracked him down, surprised her. Osiris hovered cross-legged at the center of a ruined lighthouse. A dead sun loomed in the lightless sky, arrayed on the ground below to the horizon. Yellowvex eyes pierced the gloom. Sanjir zoomed straight to Osiris's side. I thought we averted this future. Eyes closed. Osiris shook his head. Many equations led to this answer. Sound like a drumbeat, but with the impact of an earthquake, shook the lighthouse. Sajira darted through the crumbling chamber. What do we do? Another bone rattling drumbeat kicked up clouds of dust. Osiris floated to his feet. We start over. Boom! Through the window, a shadow eclipsed the Vex eyes. But first, he said, you have to res me again, old friend. Dark Decider The oldest, shortest words, yes and no, are those which require the most thought. Galliard 42, XN 7568, a black armory experimental prototype. Nine hunger. Don't let pride keep you from a good meal. Steel Feather Repeater. There is strength in delicate things. I feel the recoil of the weapon and loosen my grip. The more I fight it, the more it fights me. I choose to let it lead. It finds the milky cores and bursts them with a satisfying combustion. Radiolarian fluid glinting in the light it guides me as I support it. We work in tandem, a brilliant dance of destruction, leaving nothing but ruin in our wake. Nothing can stop this union. Saint 14. Lionheart. The one thing they can never take away. Ross Lysis 2. Here is a way to free your enemies from their earthly tethers. Sand Wasp, 3 AU. Watch as I destroy you. Refrain, 23. Suros invites you to do it again. Suros Throwback, a heavily modded version of a Suros prototype weapon. Kivostov 7G02, an ancient instrument of war, battered and worn, but it still fires true. Perhaps it's been waiting for you. Deathlock. Our eyes squinted, our teeth clenched, our prayers answered. Guiding Star. We will make a new home out among the stars, and then we will know peace. Until that day, Arach Jalal. Ormund's Anvil. 
He was the first to forge arms for the Iron Banner, Lord Saladin. Foregone conclusion. This ending was inevitable. Ether Doctor. Control the supply. The spider. Here is my offer. The spider folds both sets of arms over his thorax, leans back in his throne. For the martially inclined, bodyguards, enforcers, and such, I will provide one kilogram of ether for one day's work. By day, I mean half of one 30 hour cycle. That's the schedule I keep. If you suffer an injury in my service, you will still be paid for your days of recovery. Sibilant murmurs of surprise echo around the spider's chamber. The dregs and vandals gathered before him are trying to figure out the catch. The spider allows himself a luxuriant smile. For those who prepare, for those who prefer a more freelance lifestyle, you'll find me an enthusiastically an enthusiastic collector of salvage and secrets. My prices are posted on the local network. In the last 40 orbits, I have changed them twice. He pauses to let the Elixni tune into his network. Let the prices sink in. The hisses of joy are even louder this time. You are used to competing for the favors of your Kel. Let me make one thing clear. I am no Kel, and I do not waste my favor on you. Honor your side of the deal, and I shall honor mine. No more, no less. Now, Spider claps his hands, relishing the thoroughly human uselessness of the gesture. Get to work. Breakneck. They don't make Dark Age tech like this anymore. Lucky for you, I kept all mine. The Drifter. You know, said Centric, a thick-necked Ryzen with a bulging vein in his forehead, I've always thought you were a sneak, but after five drinks on your dime, I'm feeling pretty fond of you, Drifter. Everyone laughed. Drifter smiled. Feet kicked up on the bar. The rifle holstered on his back was heavy with promise. You're a real smooth talker, he said. I wonder. You whisper those same sweet nothings to your pal, Lord Ryans? The bar fell quiet. The vein in Senric's forehead began to twitch. Listen, no one's rocking the boat here. Jack spoke up. We shut Reince out just like you said. Funny. I see you in that valley too. And Otto, and Iron, and Dahlia. He looked at them each in turn. Guess my eyes are playing tricks on me. Sandrick pushed his stool back. You have something to say? Say it plain. Well, Sen, my eyes might be shot, but this, he tapped the side of his nose. Just fine. And I smell a rat. He sniffled. A whole mess of them, actually. Cendric stood up. The vein of his looked about ready to pop. Drifter let his feet down as he reached for his rifle. ASP quick. You know what we do with rats, don't you, brother? Braytech Werewolf. Right weapon can transform you. The Forward Path, forged in honor of Waylorin and roads yet traveled. Galliard 42, Suros invites you to kick up your heels. Solemn hymn. Stand together and play the song that sounds across the stars. Prosecutor. 
All this in service of one purpose. You have their attention. Let us see if you can keep it. Emissary of the Nine. A court. A vault. A maelstrom. A cauldron. A realm. A void. An equox. A meridian. A shift. Certainty. Certainly. Piles no more, not like they were. A keep. A parallax. An apex. A plane. A court. A vault. A maelstrom. A cauldron. Of what? Of stars. Of nine. Positive outlook. Lead by example. Hollow Earth. Do we need another reminder? This world is but a grave. Arach Jalal. Misfit. Nowhere else to go. Bellicaden. In dark water, my fangs are bared. Arc logic. The hive live by sword logic. Teach them another way. Eris Morn. Uriel's gift. Take weapon in hand and fly to victory. Ross Lysis too. Here's a way to free your enemies from their earthly tethers. Cuboid Aru. What is the shape of reality? Refrain 23. Suros invites you to do it again. Home again. This weapon was forged by Devrim K. 8th for the survivors. Jiangxi AR-1, a modded version of the Omalon Jiangxi, a guardian standby. And that does it for this coverage of the primary auto rifles. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do not forget to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel for more Destiny 2 content, and I do also live stream. I have a link in the description. I would love to see you come and hang out with us in those streams. Thank you so much, and I will see you in the next episode.